Bamboo printers with their AMS are fantastic for printing multicolor prints, but they can also take ages. Sometimes you'd be happy to forego a bit of detail in that multicolor aspect in exchange for a faster print. And depending on the model that you're printing, you may be able to achieve that by changing filament per layer rather than relying on a painted model. Using a painted model it is going to be changing multiple filaments per layer and printing a purge tower in between each change. If you're changing filaments per layer itself, then it can be a lot faster. Usually when preparing a multicolor print using something like an MMU or an AMS, you would go into the paint tool in the slicer and you would paint the areas of your model that you want to be produced in different colors. Once sliced, you'll be able to see that this is allowing you to have multiple colors printed in the same layer. Obviously the layers are on the Z axis and you can see here across the lines, we have the green bit and we have the red bit all on the same layer. This allows you to have a lot more detail and a lot more accuracy in your colors, but it does mean that you are changing filaments several times for each layer. Alternatively, there is a much quicker way. First of all, make sure you've got all the colors that you want to use lined up in your filament section and then just slice your model in one color. With the bar on the right, slide down to the first layer above where you want the color to be changed in the print. So I'm gonna have the horns a different color, so I'm gonna slide down to here, and then right click on the plus symbol on this bar, hover over change filament, and select the color that you want to change to at that point. Then we'll slice again. And if we bring up the layers on this bar again so we can see the whole thing you can see that even on the bar on the right it's showing you what colors are done for each section of the layers now you can see that the loss in detail we get here is that this lower part of the horn which is at the same layer height as the body is going to be a different color but from the front you're probably not going to see that so for the difference in speed it may be worth it one other thing i'd recommend if you're doing this is to disable the prime tower so go to the Others tab and click Disable. Because you are not printing small refined little areas between filament changes, having a gradient between one filament and the next might actually help blur out and smooth out this transition. I really hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, please make sure you hit like, it makes a huge difference to me. While you're here, why not check out some of my other videos? I've got a ton of them already on the channel and hit subscribe so you can keep an eye out for the new ones I've got coming very soon. Until next time, thanks very much and happy printing.